Weeks after 10 African Americans were gunned down by an avowed white supremacist at this top supermarket in Buffalo, New York, the store remains closed. The community, still in shock, continues to mourn. Their pain and anger exacerbated by the slaughter of 19 children and two adults at a Texas elementary school in another mass shooting. As we're all reeling with the pain, I'm asking myself as governor, am I supposed to just leave all the, the flags at half mask? They're still at half mask from Buffalo. No, I don't want to. So we harness this anger. The suspects in both the Buffalo and Texas shootings are 18 year olds who had allegedly purchased semi-automatic assault rifles to carry out their attacks. The New York State Legislature on Thursday passed a slew of new legislation to tighten gun laws across the state, including raising the age limit to purchase semi-automatic rifles to 21, restricting the sale of body armor like that worn by the Buffalo killer and requiring new guns be micro stamped, making it easier for law enforcement to link fired bullets to weapons. Schools in Buffalo, meanwhile, are spending the final weeks of the school year on heightened alert. The district saying doors will remain closed during school hours, police will be on campus, and all unannounced visitors, including parents, are barred from entering. We will not give in to the terror of gun violence. We will never stop working to protect New Yorkers. The last of the Buffalo victims, 86-year-old Ruth Whitfield, was laid to rest last weekend. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke at the service, saying she believes the nation is experiencing an epidemic of hate. This is a moment that requires all good people, all God-loving people, to stand up and say, we will not stand for this. Enough is enough. Police say the alleged gunman, Peyton Gendron was motivated by a desire to kill as many black people as possible, obsessed with a conspiracy theory that falsely claims non-whites are replacing white Americans. Law enforcement believes Gendron was radicalized online and an investigation into his social media is ongoing. The state's attorney general says he used sites like Discord, 4chan and Amazon owned Twitch to plan, promote and stream his attack. Gendron on Thursday pleaded not guilty to 25 counts, including first-degree murder and domestic terrorism, charges punishable by life in prison without parole. He's due back in court on July 7th. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.